Alright, so the mission I'm going to show you today will be the second one from the campaign Island Hopping. It's called the Thundering Waves. Now let's jump into the mission and see what we have to do. Okay, a Japanese fleet coming towards Saisho. We have the order to stop their advance and fight them off. Uh -huh. The enemy aircraft carrier should be located somewhere close by. Find that sergeant. Oh, I'm a sergeant already? Nice. Okay, primary objective is to locate the Japanese carrier and the secondary objective is to not lose the battleship. Speaking of the battleship, um, let's begin with a little introduction for our new units. So, the battleship is uh, quite a very big and beefy um, unit. It deals a lot of damage and it can take a lot of damage. But uh, the movement uh, range is quite limited as you can see here. The battleship comes also with the ability um, to use a sonar. With the sonar you can detect enemies uh, within a, a range, a given proximity. And yeah, that's it for the battleship. So, the next unit here would be the destroyer. The destroyer is um, a lighter unit. Uh, it can deal some damage and take some damage, but not as good as the battleship. It has no special abilities. And this little guy around here is the supply ship. Um, it works just like the supply truck from Frozen Front, if you remember that. But it also has a special ability, namely to detect sea mines. Okay, next unit would be the aircraft carrier. The aircraft carrier serves um, as a mobile base. Um, you can build planes on it or ships with it. Um, if you build ships, there is a, a spawn point um, located at the at the beginning of the map. So. Wherever your aircraft carrier is standing, um, your ships will, al will always spawn at this blue marker right here. Okay, now for our first turn. Um, safety first, let's scout for some enemies and position our battleship more to the front and use the sonar ability. Okay, so no enemies, enemies detected. Next stop, scan for some mines. No mines either, that's nice. So I guess we can now move our fleet forward and look for the enemy. Okay, one more and that's it for our first turn. Oh, enemies inside, alright. So, they begin to shoot directly at the first uh, unit inside. Uh, it's okay, I think we can take another hit. Ooh, that was close. But it's alright, we have our supply ship here. Um, as mentioned before, the supply ship um, works as in Frozen Front, so you can repair and resupply your units with ammunition and fuel. Now let's resupply our destroyer here and move our supply ship more to the back because otherwise it might get destroyed pretty easily by the enemy destroyers. Okay, now let's position our battleship more to the front, since it can uh, take more damage uh, than the destroyers, we should uh, begin our attack with it and take the first hit. Okay. 
So, every ship you attack, um, or every unit you attack, um, shoots back one time per turn. So it's always a good idea to um, take a unit with um, a lot of health um, to, to uh, take the first attack. And so it can um, yeah, take the first hit. I did uh, that with my battleship now, and now I can continue to attack the unit with my destroyer. And there it goes. One destroyer of the enemy down. Now, let's move a bit to the front, or let's find out huh, how much further we have to go. So, by long pressing on a unit, I can um, see how far my unit can shoot. And yeah, seems like I only have to move one um, field. Or let's do two. Okay, now I'm in attack range um, from both units. That's not very good because now both units can shoot at me. So I move back one field. And now I'm not in range anymore. So let's move forward again. <laughs> okay, let's take that shot. Forward with another destroyer and do some more damage. So the aircraft carrier also um, has the ability to sh uh, shoot at enemy uh, units, but um, it's only uh, very effective against enemy airplanes. But I have a little surprise for the destroyers up there. I will now move my aircraft carrier a bit to the front. And let's get two planes. Or maybe three? Yes, let's get three planes. And move them out just by using the selection wheel. Okay, so far so good. Two planes on the outside. We now attack the remaining destroyers. And there goes one, another destroyer. I can also attack this guy with my other plane. But he can shoot back. So all um, ships can shoot at um, aircraft, except for the supply ship. But uh, the damage they deal to planes uh, varies greatly. So the destroyer um, doesn't do as much damage uh, to an aircraft um, as the aircraft carrier. Um, the battleship is also um, quite strong against aircraft. Okay, we still have one plane located on our carrier. Let's move that out and use it to do some damage to the remaining destroyer. Okay. That's quite good. And we still have a destroyer left to move. So, are there any other units left? If you just want to see um, which unit has some movement points or attack points left, you can just deselect everything by clicking uh, into the blue. <laughs> and we can see here now that I have still have six uh, movement points left on that destroyer around here and I can still attack. No. So let's see if we can get into range and finish that destroyer. Yes, we can. Nice. And he's down. Nice! That was a very good turn. Let's finish that turn and see what the enemy has to do now. Or can do now. Ooh. Seems no more enemies in range. Let's move forward. Okay, another destroyer. No. Two battle stations. Two battle stations, yes. Okay. Move, move, move.
Okay, so our planes can't stay in the air forever, so maybe we should just get them back into the carrier and resupply them. And take them out if we need them again. Now resupply them. And they are back to full ammunition and fuel. Nice. Can we attack that destroyer? Yes. So, any more movement points left? Oh, uh, yes, that destroyer has one left. And I guess we could um, put our supply ship more to the front and repair our battleship a bit. Okay. Did attack the destroyer already, so our turn is finished. Okay, another destroyer. Ooh, that could be close. Or well, we might lose that destroyer. <laughs> okay, three destroyers against one. It's pretty sure that we lose that destroyer. Yep, there he goes. But it's alright. We still have enough units left. Alright. Maybe we should use the sonar and see if there are any more units in close proximity. Ah, okay. So, as we have seen in the cutscene before, there are um, two more destroyers in the north and one undetected ship in the south. But now let's finish that destroyer and get revenge for our destroyer. Okay. Let's move it forward. Uh, just a bit more. And finish it. So that's quite a bit reckless of me to move my ship so far to the front just to get uh, the kill of um, that destroyer, but it's alright. We don't have enough fuel left on that ship, maybe we should use our supply ship to get it, get it back up to maximum fuel and repair it. And go back. That's nice. Let's move that destroyer forward. And maybe it's about time to get our airplanes back to air. Move the aircraft to the front and get out our planes. Yep. Okay, now we can at least finish that destroyer right here. Now that's not a lot of damage, we can take that. Oh, I located the Japanese air carrier. Nice! <laughs> what a coincidence! There it is. Okay, now we have to destroy it, but what's that? Ooh. Okay, reinforcements. A battleship and two destroyers. That's not very good for us. Okay. A new secondary objective. We now have to defeat the reinforcements, but you know what? I say we just go in for the primary objective and try to destroy the enemy aircraft carrier as fast as possible. But let's finish that destroyer first. And another down. No more movement points left. Okay, 
Then let's finish that turn and hope we don't get destroyed in it. <laughs> oh, we did damage to our plane. We can take that. Ooh, here comes the battleship. Yikes. No, 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 don't destroy our destroyer. Uh, we might lose that destroyer. Yep. Okay, that's unfortunate, but that's alright. We just move away from them now and head for the aircraft carrier. And luckily for us, he moves right into our front. And attacks uh, one of our planes. Okay, now let's go all out and deal all the damage we can to the enemy aircraft carrier and hopefully we can finish that mission successfully. Okay, the aircraft air uh, carrier has no ability to shoot at enemy ships. He can also only shoot at enemy aircraft. Okay, not enough ammunition. Let's just resupply that plane and deal the final blow. Oh, that was not enough. One more and we got it. Ready for takeoff. Yes! And that's it? Or is it? Yes, we did it. Mission successful. Although it would have been nice to... Um, yeah, get the other secondary objective, but it's alright. We did it. Yay, another rank up! Okay, alright, that was it. That concludes our first episode of Let's Play at Handy Games. I hope you liked it. Um, if you want more videos, just subscribe and like our YouTube channel. That's it from me. Have a nice day and see you next time.